D brands have some of the most aggressive and fun social media out there. They they truly do. I remember when they were doing their initial like skins for the PS5 and they basically said, we've canceled this product because you idiots can't be trusted to apply them correctly. They have this incredible way of nagging their customers and it is just so funny. Now it's obviously all played in a tongue in cheek manner and uh, they basically sponsor the shit out of every tech YouTuber on the platform, which is why people are generally pretty aware aware of them. Now, they have got into trouble with Sony. Sony appear to have been very angry, and uh, Dbrand have done a very good job clapping back at Sony in a way that is obvious marketing, super well executed, that's able to just capitalize in gaming culture and uh, generate some news, which I'm pretty pretty aware that we're now involved in. Mm -hmm. Well done, Dbrand. You're pretty good at social media stuff. So here's the deal, right? Dark plates, they were a, a product that D brand offered. Now, basically, lots of people, they don't want their PS5 to look like a router designed by David Cage, <laughs> right? It's sort of a Detroit become human router. Now, I don't mind the PS5, actually. There's you know, sometimes I actually quite like it, yeah. but it's a more divisive and out there design. Certainly one that's a little bit more ballsy than um, the Xbox Series X which is a big rectangle. So they released these dark plates. Now, the dark plates were super popular. They basically were sold out for months on end. They cost 50 bucks. Uh, but over the weekend, Dbrand released a statement confirming that the dark plates product uh, were dead because Sony threatened them with legal action and Sony's lawyers threatened to sue Dbrand unless they stopped selling the dark plates. So, what do you do here if you're Dbrand? Well, you work out how to basically turn the entire situation to your advantage and uh, do a little bit of jiu-jitsu versus your, uh, your larger opponent. Imagine this. You're a 15 billion yen enterprise who just spent a small fortune designing a next-generation gaming console. A privately held corporation run by robots makes it black. The world rejoices. You're livid. You vent your frustrations to a team of lawyers. They get to work. Now, under threat of litigation, those robots have to redesign their dark plates while also funding a legal defense. Needless to say, some corners were cut. You're welcome. So... Uh, yeah, you know, a bit more fun, a bit more spicy. <laughs> it It is, it, I think it's beautifully constructed because, you know, some corners were cut. What have they done? They've cut the corners. Also, it's 15 trillion yen, not 15 billion. Or trillion, whoops. That's yeah. a lot, that's a, you know, that's a lot of money. Yeah, so, um, it's, it's pretty great. So there's these new dark plates coming out, which, uh, literally have the corners cut. <laughs> they cost 70 bucks now, and Dbrand are claiming that they are safe from future lawsuits. Now, one thing that I'd like to know a lot more about is, um, well, Sony's actual claim here. Um, you know, well, you know, when we actually sort of dive into dive into that. Um, mm. Now, they did have a great Reddit post. Oh, it's, so it's masterful. Like there was the "Our Loss Your Game" bitch we've already read. Uh, then here, thanks, Sony. Do you have any idea how many lawyers we had to go through to find some that were willing to take on the Dark Plates case? We'll give you a hint. The answer lies at the bottom of Lake Ontario. Turns out our new lawyers can handle either the murder charges or the Dark Plates file, but not both. We may be in a maximum security prison by the end of the year, but at least your PS5 will have an indisputably original design. Dark Plates meet light strips. If you've made it this far down the page without buying anything, you're probably a lawyer. Good, no, uh, good news for us, bad news for you. There probably aren't any newly approved patents on custom LED light strips, middle skins, or all new dark plate to colorways. Serve us another cease and desist if you are wrong. So I'd imagine this is something to do with the original dark plates basically flying too close to uh, the original yeah, Sony so, design. Yeah, so I have, a, I have actually a rundown here, which is, uh, you know, <laughs> they, they pointed out beautifully in the Reddit thread, and it turns out that... Uh, they didn't have a design patent for the shape of the PS5 plates when Dbrand, for, you know, say, said, sue us, come on, try it. And Dbrand were like, they'll never get a design patent for this kind of funny shape. But they're a 15 trillion yen uh, company. They got the bastard design patent. Yeah. They shouldn't really have, probably, but they did. And then Dbrand were like, well, shit. And then... You know, it's like, well, what's the problem here? Design patent. How can we get around this? 
design something else? Yes. And then they went and did that. And this is what leads us to Dark Plates 2 mm-hmm. and uh, their Reddit post, which is very fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, while working through the redesign process over the past few months, we quickly realized that in order to make this thing any less of an abomination, we'd either need to overhaul the face- faceplates or make our own gaming console. Because our North Stars to do whatever KFC isn't doing, we got to redesigning Dark Plates. By creating a brand new design, Dark Plates 2.0 successfully closes the loop on this dispute and neutralizes any future infringement claims from Sony. More importantly, it makes your PlayStation 5 considerably less ugly. <laughs> so that's Dark Plates 2. At this point, you've either closed Reddit to pre order your own, or you're sticking around with the misplaced hope that we'll offer up some more corporate legal drama. If you're in that second group, there's only one question on your mind Is Sony still going to sue you, assholes? The answer probably. The difference this time is we've created an original design for which they have no basis to allege infringement. If they want to try, they better be ready to pay our legal fees. Mm. I guess that's when they drop the mic and say, haha, we've done a redesign, we've cut some corners, we've increased the price by 20 bucks, and we've used all of your stuff, Sony, to humongously market the shit out of our product, which come to think of it, because this is going to be something they design, and then you know, wherever it's manufactured, uh, they'll probably be able to get an absolutely, you know, a pretty tremendous first order, right? So uh, mm-hmm. they've basically just orchestrated all of this perfectly, and this is the sort of thing that a more small, scrappy company that is willing to be just a lot more interesting, a lot more ballsy uh, with their social media and all of that, uh, that's just what they can do. This is the perfect way to attack and to throw off balance a corporation far larger than yourself. So, smart cookies, those yeah. robots. And they also win so much like consumer goodwill, both from being funny, but also because they've put 120 mil vents on the side, which is, you know, according to, uh, as they point out, according to the uh, thermal analysis from Gamers Nexus, the under load, it runs f- about five degrees cooler in Celsius without side panels on because there are intake fans on the side. Wow. But the panels block the intake fans. Epic design. So they've just went, we've put a big hole in the side plate and now your console runs a little bit cooler. That'll be $70. Also, it looks, you know, better, you know, whatever, whatever your subjective opinion is. And it's just like, man, they're, they're so smart about it. Yeah. I mean, I'm so smart. Do I think it looks better? You know what? It certainly is a bit more conservative and there's more color options, which I think basically a lot of people will like. Uh, one of the things, the Series X, I actually quite like the Series X design, mini fridge jokes aside. Um, it seems like it's all quite good for its its cooling, but it just kind of blends into the room and it looks like a bit of modernish interior design that just kind of works in a way where it's neutral enough. With the PS5, I actually quite like the design. It's just a more out there kind of in you know product design for the interior of a home. So it might not be as guaranteed that it will fit okay in your space. And I think with the dark plates, you just do get a lot more control over that. So I can see why people want it. Yeah, it's. I think it's it's that case of, you know, Sony's move into, we're the premium boys. We will make this console and it will be the centerpiece of your living room versus Xbox going, fit this into your life, whatever way you want. Yeah, Which, you know, <laughs> here's a rectangle. It's, it's cool. Yeah, it's interesting to see the philosophy of like how their businesses are moving also applied to the visual design of the consoles. Yeah. I think is I think it's fascinating. Uh, there's there's something else I wanted to point out. What was it? If you want a if you want a good idea of uh, how Dbrand generally get on in uh, like their social media stuff, one of the Reddit replies was just someone saying "Holy fuck," and they just responded with a little dash to denote a quote: "Sony's lawyers." And there was another time someone said, yeah, Dbrand's probably the best company or brand that's ever created an account for Reddit. And they just responded saying, fuck you too. Yeah. So they oh, are. They're, they're great at that. Even um, little things like, in, you know, the Linus meme. I think yeah. it's the one from his, like, I've been thinking of quitting video. Mm. Uh, it's that, like, yeah. picture of Linus's face with plastered everywhere. So whenever they did a collab with LTT, which obviously makes a lot of sense for them as a business, um, that, like, meme thing was, like, a phone skin that you could buy. So they consistently know how to lean into a community in a really fucking smart way. And here, you know, where we've been a bit more used to, hey, here's a cool product with MKBHD. Or, hey, here's some 
stuff that's kind of laughing at Linus, but everyone likes Linus and everybody's happy, to now, hey, Sony, fuck you. Hey, customer, fuck you, you piece of shit. Buy our product. Yeah, yeah, we know you want it, you little piece of shit. Pre-order it now or you'll miss out. And we don't give a fuck. We're D-Brand. And that's just how they go on. And uh, it's a pretty freaking unique uh, brand voice. And you compare it to, like, say, uh, Slick Wraps, or I think it's Slick Wraps is the company, or just anybody mm-hmm. else who's in the, the skins game. You just, you know D-Brand more because of their, their YouTube marketing efforts and also just their unique brand voice and community engagement style. So it is smart. I mean, in a way, like, you can have it come across as, oh yeah, you know what, fuck off, brand. Because you yeah. know, like Wendy's post yeah. something and now people are like, brand, be gone. Silence, brand. We know, yes, we no longer think you're funny anymore. Um, they've managed to circumvent that, I think because they're a lot more willing to come off as being... Like, there's like a sanitized form of brutal banter that yeah. fast food brands engage in, whereas I, I think they're just willing to be a lot more fucking brutal. Mm-hmm. So there you go. Um, I mean, there is a story here. It's interesting. Sony suing. This is literally an upgrade to the cooling performance of the PS5, and I think a really good lesson in just marketing community engagement for all of us to learn. Yeah, can't wait to find out that uh, this has all been entirely, entirely scripted, like a good wrestling show, and D and D Brand and Sony are actually in on it together. That's my conspiracy theory for the day. Oh, that would be that would be so fun. <laughs> I don't think so, but <laughs> nah. <laughs> anyway, there, uh, there we go. Um, and you know what? Hey, D Brand, fuck you too for smartly getting us to talk about your piece of shit product, bastards. Farewell. <laughs>